Examples, find all the antiderivatives of the following functions. All antiderivatives, that means we're going to find the indefinite integral of the function with respect to x, and it will return as the antiderivative, the capital F of x plus the constant c. For the uh, number one, the f of x equals 11 times x to the power 10. All antiderivatives as the in, indefinite integral of this function, which is 11 x to the power 10 with respect to x, we see the constant 11, use the constant multiple rule. So 11 multiplied by the integral of x to the power 10 with respect to x. Now we're going to apply the power rule. And the power p is 10, not equal to negative 1. So the antiderivative of x to the power p is going to be x to the power p plus 1, which is 10 plus 1, divided by 10 plus 1, and added by c or the arbitrary constant. Simplify the terms. Since 10 plus 1 is 11, 11 and 11 cancel. Now we get x to the power 11 plus c as all antiderivative. Of f of x equals 11 x to the power 10. And we're going to check the work as the relationship of the all antiderivative as the capital F. The capital F prime is the lowercase f. So the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 11 plus c equals 11 times x to the power 10. Check. Next example. The f of x equals negative 4 multiplied by the secant square of x. All antiderivative, which is the indefinite integral of negative 4 multiplied by secant square x with respect to x. We have the constant multiple negative 4. Take negative 4 outside of the indefinite integral. And the question that you should ask yourself, what function would give the derivative to be secant squared? And the answer is tangent function, so the tangent x, as a result of the antiderivative of the secant squared. And at c, to make it as all antiderivative. And we can also check the solution. So this is the function capital F as f prime, or the capital F prime equals the lowercase f. So the derivative with respect to x of negative 4 tangent x will give negative 4 secant x squared. Example 3. The f of x equals negative 2 multiplied by x to the negative fifth. All antiderivative is the integral negative 2 multiplied by x to the negative fifth with respect to x. Constant multiple, which is negative 2. Negative 2 multiplied by the antiderivative of x to the negative fifth with respect to x. In this case, the power p equals negative 5, not equal to negative 1. Then apply the power rule. The power added by 1 and the same sum, use it as the denominator added by c. Negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Reduce the number to be 1 over 2 multiplied by x to the negative fourth plus c. And this is the all antiderivative of negative 2 times x to the negative fifth. And again, we can check it by finding the derivative of 1 over 2 times x to the negative fourth plus c it will give us negative 2 times x to the negative fifth, which is the same as the integrand. Next example, the function f of x equals e, and this is the constant function because no x involving for the expression on the right side of the equal sign. For the constant, so the integral 
of the value e with respect to x. Think about the power rule. Or oh, another question that you should ask yourself, what function that is derivative is the e? When you do the derivative with respect to x, and the answer is e times x. But if you use the power rule, you can write it as the integral e multiplied by x to the power 0 with respect to x as x to the power 0 is 1. And you treat it as a power, uh, as you use the power rule to get e as a constant multiple. So e multiplied by the integral of x to the power 0 with respect to x equals e multiplied by x to the 0 plus 1 divided by 0 plus 1 and then added by c. Now the power of the x becomes 1 divided by 1. It returns e multiplied by x and then plus c as all antiderivative solution. Then to check the answer, the derivative of ex plus c is e times 1 and then plus 0 or just e, the same as the integrand. The last one, the function f of x equals e to the power x. This time we have x involved. That means this is the function, exponential function in general. So the integral of e to the x with respect to x or all antiderivative of e to the power x is the same as e to the x and then plus c to make it as the family of the antiderivative. And we can check the solution by finding the derivative of e to the x plus c. It will return e to the power x as well.